Hello and welcome to the HDR workflow with Rich Sharpentier. And the voice you're hearing, of course, is Rich Sharpentier. Before we get started into all of the lessons, I thought it would be a good idea to talk about the interface and also talk about the objectives of this DVD tutorial set. First off, what you're looking at on screen right now is the screen that you're looking at. This is the interface. I decided to go with a web-based DVD tutorial setup. Navigation's pretty easy and you can jump back and forth between segments. Over on the left hand side is the HDR workflow panel. This is where we've got little flyouts for the workflow. Going through the Lightroom introduction, exporting, etc, etc. So we've got several sections. We've got the overall workflow, the Vulture Mine, the Grand Canyon, and some bonus Lightroom lessons. I actually want to talk about that for a moment. For a lot of folks, you might not be super familiar with Lightroom, or maybe you don't feel that uh, you're getting the most out of your Lightroom experience. For this HDR workflow, for the high dynamic range workflow that we're doing, the hub of the workflow is, of course, Lightroom. I've been using it since Lightroom 1, and here we are at Lightroom version 3 now, and it's come a long way, and it is the center point for all of my photo editing, not just for high dynamic range photography. Now, if you would like to make sure that I've set up the right type of Lightroom catalog, I'm getting my photography where I want it to be, I'm you know, exporting my images and they're going to the drive I want them to go to, you might want to start with this bonus Lightroom lessons. Now these lessons are put together for the Lightroom classes that I teach here in Prescott, Arizona, and it's just a basic intro crash course to Lightroom. We only deal with the library and develop modules, and while this doesn't have anything to do with HDR photography, it's a good place to start to really re-familiarize yourself with Lightroom before we get into the workflow using Lightroom for managing our HDR photography generation. Once you feel pretty good about using Lightroom, of course you can jump right on up to the workflow. It gives you another Lightroom introduction, and yes, throughout this DVD, I repeat myself often. As a matter of fact, you might want to bring this DVD to your next kegger, and you and your friends can see how many times I reintroduce myself in each segment and take a drink. I reintroduce myself that often. Sorry about that. I also repeat the same themes over and over again. There is a reason for that. In my experience in wireless engineering, teaching switch technicians, cell technicians, and network design engineers, I have found that repetition is very important, especially for those new to a process. And this is a process, and that's what this DVD is about. It's about getting the most out of Lightroom and out of your HDR software. Now, while we'll be talking about Photomatics by HDR Soft and Nix HDR Effects Pro, we're not getting too in depth in most of the segments about utilizing either of these HDR programs. It's mostly the workflow and managing the creation of the images. Now, for the in depth part with both Photomatics, and with HDR Effects Pro, I suggest going to the Vulture Mine section because we're going to play around with each of those programs a good deal. So, all right, now that you've gotten the introduction and the first time of me introducing myself, you can start up that drinking game. And I would suggest that if you do make a drinking game out of it, to rewatch this at a later time. All righty, I hope you enjoy the contents of the HDR workflow. And I hope that this does help streamline your efforts in your own HDR photography. Please remember and feel free to drop by richsharpentier.com. I'd love to get any and all comments on the DVD, both positive and negative, so that I can improve this content over time for viewers like you. Finally, thanks for making this purchase and helping one HDR photographer in the Southwest to continue forward with my own work. Thanks again and hope you enjoy the tutorial.